Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today I'm going to show you the 4.0 OS running on the iPhone. I was able to get the uh, developer copy on here and thought we'd just take a quick look at that and uh, show you what it's all about. Now I did do a, an overview the other day and I uh, thought we'd just show it to you since I was able to get that. So uh, first of all, you can see the background has changed as opposed to the static background. The dock is different. It used to be across here, now it's flat or kind of 3D like uh, Snow Leopard was or is. Um, we can change the lock screen differently from the other screen. So here's one picture, slide and lock. There's a different picture in the background. Simple, but uh, something Android and other phones have had for some time, but now it's on the iPhone or will be in the summer. Again, uh, one of the huge things on here is multitasking. And so I, you open a program, so um, we open the iPod, close the iPod, and now the iPod's running. To get to that, we double hit the home button. There we go. And these are our applications running. As, the, as we open more, they line up across here and you can scroll through them. If we want to close one, we hold, hit the minus button, and now it's gone. We hit the home button again, it zooms back out, so we hit, double tap, it'll go back, or you can double tap, tap up here, it goes back. Either way, that's how uh, the iPhone handles multitasking. The nice part is, if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Just leave it alone, and that's that. Um, so if we open a Safari, now I'm not connected to the internet, I have uh, Wi-Fi off just to uh, keep it from interfering with the camera, but we'll double tap uh, from within here. Uh, I guess I have to uh, get out of here, this isn't going to work right. Okay, so if I double tap, it opens the, uh, the uh, multitasking and that's it. If I want to close from within here, I can do that still. Close that back at Safari. If I double tap again, we go into Mail. Now Mail, um, uh, okay, so uh, Mail actually has multiple email boxes in one big box now. So here's all my emails. It looks a little bit different. We go to All Inboxes, and that will bring all these mail, uh, mail accounts into one account so that's all. So this combines them all, sorts them by dates. It also has threads. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those to show you, but just like Gmail does, you have one person you're, com you're com uh, talking back and forth to, um, it will show as a thread and, and keep that in one conversation. So that's really nice. Um, one of the other things is folders, and I have a bunch here. I used to have them on the home screen, but I decided to change that. Here's all the folders. We can tap, open them up, and there's our apps tap back up here and they're gone. Uh, if I want to we'll tap and bring one out, we tap and hold like we normally would, bring it out here and there it is. If I want to bring it back, hold, bring it in there. If I want to create a new folder, I could do that with one of these, hold, drag it onto Facebook here, okay, I'll drag it onto Tweety. Sometimes it's a little buggy and uh, there we go and it names it navigation based on the category uh, it thinks they came from. I'll drag that back out though. Um, real simple, not a whole lot more than that. There are a bunch of things for enterprise. Um, a lot of little improvements here and there. They claim a hundred improvements. Uh, music looks a little different in some aspects. Uh, but a lot of things, a lot of background process don't run right yet. And the uh, problem with, uh, and the reason for that is you have to add code into the existing apps. So there's not a whole lot going on, going on there. Um, not just yet. Game Center is on here. Not a whole lot in Game Center right now. And I guess that's not going to be... Uh, around for a while so we have our account and that's pretty much as far as you get until that's going to be active so uh, but I'll show you a, a one quick app um, let's where was it here oh it was in games we'll go into Angry Birds pretty popular app wait for that to load there we go so while that's loaded if I double tap multitasking bring open my browser wanna switch back now it reloads because the code is not correct yet, but once once they update it, it'll resume right where it left off. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Those are the things that are going to matter to most people. Uh, photos, uh, lists, events and faces down here now, but you have to have a Mac, or, and albums, but you have to have a Mac to show that with iPhoto. Um, little tweaks here and there. Uh, but over, overall, very good. Some extra little things, uh, but there's, that's that's pretty much the main thing you're going to want to check out. Uh, notice some speed differences. Uh, let me show you in the iPod real quick. 
in the podcast before if I did that it was slow even with with this amount of podcasts going on in here it was slow it seems to fix the performance I don't know exactly uh, what they've done but they did something and it works well overall that's pretty much it there are a few other things here and there oh let me show you this this is pretty major actually uh, one thing they didn't mention so you've got this tap to focus let's see if I can show you this this way there's my hand tap to focus it will focus now we get this bar we can digitally zoom so it kinda makes some of those apps uh, inadequate now or or not n not needed to buy and the other thing if we go to video we can tap to zoom where we want on video too so just a couple little tweaks here and there that they didn't mention everything in the keynote uh, but that's pretty much it if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. I'll certainly make another video if you'd like to see. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.